So I've been playing a ton of Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate for an upcoming video that I'm working on, and anytime that I play GU, I can't help but think about the monster Atalaka. You see, Atalaka is definitely one of my favorite fights in all of Generations Ultimate, and definitely one of the most unique fights in all of Monster Hunter in general. In this video, I want to go over my reasons why I think Atalaka should return to the franchise, and even if she doesn't return as a monster, I think the concepts behind her fight could return in a new and fresh way. With all of that out of the way, let's get right into it. So firstly, I want to focus on if Atalaka returned to Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. With that said, I think Atalaka could have a unique interaction with the wirebug mechanic. Now, why do I say that? Well, I don't think Atalaka is a stranger to using silk. You see, in Generations Ultimate, Atalaka uses silk as traps and also uses it offensively. She'll wrap her silk around objects and throw it at the hunter and even use a steel beam or a giant wheel as a weapon with her silk and some other stuff that we'll get to later. So Atalaka being able to interact with wire bugs and silk bind moves isn't that big of a stretch in my mind. I could see Atalaka yoinking a wire bug from the hunter and eating it, basically killing off that wire bug until the hunter were to gather another one. I think that would make her extremely dangerous as a monster and definitely make her even more unique than she already is. I'm actually surprised we don't have a monster that just yanks a wire bug from the player. I feel like that's a mechanic that just should have happened, at least by now, right? We do kind of have something along those lines with Ice Blight. If you didn't know, in Monster Hunter Rise, when you get afflicted with Ice Blight, it takes longer for your wire bugs to recharge. So we kind of have that mechanic, but I would love to see it taken to the extreme, you know what I mean? Especially with how important Silkbind moves and wire bugs are to weapons in this new generation. Having a monster that can basically just eat your wire bugs is so dangerous. I love it. Let's move on. All right, secondly, I want to talk about how unique thematically Atalaka is and why that should return to the franchise. So the gameplay loop of Monster Hunter goes something like this. A hunter starts out, hunts a monster, carves its materials to make better armor and weapons, thus being able to fight harder and bigger monsters, etc, 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 right? Thematically, Atalaka kind of takes that concept and flips it on its head. Atalaka basically takes items and things from hunters to fight other hunters. So in the fight with Atalaka, not only can she use beams and giant wheels, but she can also use Dragonators to attack. Dragonators were basically made to hunt Elder Dragons and monsters, and this material made for humans she uses as a weapon to fight humans. So she's kind of like, in a sense, a mirror of us as hunters, but in a monster. It's such a cool concept, like we're the hunted and she's the hunter. Not to mention she even has armor. Once you get to a certain phase in the fight with Atalaka, she'll use her silk to grab all the like scraps and metal and stuff that's around in the area and wrap it around her in the shape of this giant like scrap dragon. In a sense, this is her armor. I mean, this is something out of a Yu-Gi-Oh card, not a Monster Hunter game. And this is just another example of her kind of like flipping this formula, using this gigantic mass of human materials to fight humans. It's, it's so incredible. I love Atalaka thematically so much. What a fantastic monster. I just think this is such a good concept. And I think they could rework it and make something even better in the future. So if she doesn't return, I think this concept should return. Okay, lastly, I think this is probably my most controversial point, but I think the armor and weapons are cool. <laughs> like, it's as simple as that. I think they look really great, and I think the armor and weapons have great skills. Now, I do know that a lot of people complain about Atalaka's armor being too OP. I mean, it's the last boss monster of the game, so it's kind of like, you know, of course it's gonna be OP, but I don't see why they couldn't tweak the armor to not be as OP in future titles. I, I see a lot of people on Twitter when people talk about like Atalaka returning to something like Sunbreak or a new game. Basically, people who are against that say something along the lines of, you're asking for the most OP armor to return to the franchise. You just wanna break the game. And it's like, no, like Capcom, you know, they're not always the best at 
balancing stuff. I think we all know that. But if they were to bring Atalka's armor and weapons back, could they not just kind of scale it back? You know? I don't know why people are so stuck on if this armor and weapon comes back, it's going to ruin the game. Like, it's going to be exactly like Generations Ultimate. No, if it is, that's just bad game design. You know what I mean? I think if they returned, they could fit a new purpose. Now, I do like Torso Up and the whole Talisman Up system that Atalika's armor has in Generations Ultimate, but, I mean, just give us Torso Up or something else, you know? I, I, I don't see, like, the need for it to be exactly the same or for it to be super OP. Now, with Title Update 3, we have seen a little bit of, uh, you know, power creep come into the game, and maybe we can talk about that in the comments. What do you think about Atalika returning? What do you think about the concept in general? And what are your thoughts on Title Update number 3? I'm really curious about that, so let me know in the comments below, and please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. I have other videos to check out, and until next time, you know, uh, don't be rude to people on the internet because we're all people and everyone sucks. All right, goodbye.